recorded by Miss S. E. Waldo, a disciple. Sunday, 23rd June 1895. Be brave and be sincere, then follow any path with devotion, and you must reach the whole. Once lay hold of one link of the chain, and the whole chain must come by degrees. Water the roots of the tree, that is, reach the Lord, and the whole tree is watered, getting the Lord, we get all. One-sidedness is the bane of the world. The more sides you can develop, the more souls you have, and you can see the universe through all souls, through the bhakta, devotee, and the jnani, philosopher. Determine your own nature and stick to it. Nishtha, devotion to one ideal, is the only method for the beginner, but with devotion and sincerity it will lead to all. Churches, doctrines, forms, are the hedges to protect the tender plant, but they must later be broken down that the plant may become a tree. So the various religions, Bibles, Vedas, dogmas, all are just tubs for the little plant, but it must get out of the tub. Nishtha is, in a manner, placing the plant in the tub, shielding the struggling soul in its path. Look at the ocean and not at the wave, see no difference between ant and angel. Every worm is the brother of the Nazarene. How say one is greater and one less? Each is great in his own place. We are in the sun and in the stars as much as here. Spirit is beyond space and time and is everywhere. Every mouth praising the Lord is my mouth, every eye seeing is my eye. We are confined nowhere, we are not body, the universe is our body. We are magicians waving magic wands and creating scenes before us at will. We are the spider in his huge web, who can go on the varied strands wheresoever he desires. The spider is now only conscious of the spot where he is, but he will in time become conscious of the whole web. We are now conscious only where the body is, we can use only one brain, but when we reach ultra consciousness, we know all, we can use all brains. Even now we can give the push in consciousness, and it goes beyond and acts in the superconscious. We are striving to be and nothing more, no I ever just pure crystal reflecting all, but ever the same, when that state is reached, there is no more doing, the body becomes a mere mechanism, pure without care for it, it cannot become impure. Know you are the infinite, then fear must die. Say ever, I and my Father are one. In time to come Christ's will be in numbers like bunches of grapes on a wine, then the play will be over and will pass out, as water in a kettle beginning to boil shows first one bubble, then another then more and more, until all is in ebullition and passes out as steam. Buddha and Christ are the two biggest bubbles the world has yet produced. Moses was a tiny bubble, greater and greater ones came. Sometime, however, all will be bubbles and escape, but creation, ever new, will bring new water to go through the process all over again.